Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Zaya. And welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, Zaya's hair is wet. It is actually freshly washed. I am about to blow dry it before she gets ready for bed. She has school tomorrow. Today is Sunday. Sundays are normally hair washing days anyway, but tomorrow is a special day because what are you getting done tomorrow? Tiny braids like you had. Tiny braids like I had and like Grammy has right now. So I recently went to this braiding salon here in Austin, Texas. It is called the Braided House, like H-A-U-S. And that was my first time going and I just had an amazing experience. I have since referred my mom and like two or three friends there who have also had good experiences. So I thought that would be the perfect place to ask if they do kids hairstyles because Zaya has never had her hair done by anybody other than me and like Grammy kind of, but Grammy doesn't really like do hair. She can only do braids. That's the only thing she can do. I have dabbled in a few protective styles on Zaya before. If you guys watch my videos, if you've seen some of the other hair videos I've done with Zaya, you've seen some of those like protective styles kinda. I'm not great at it honestly and I've never tried to do like really small box braids or anything on her because I'm honestly not that good of a braider. So anyway, like I said, tomorrow Zaya is actually going to be getting her hair braided by a professional, someone who really knows what they're doing. And lucky for us, they make house calls. A braider's gonna come to our house tomorrow after school to Zaya's hair. Since tomorrow is a school day, I have to kind of prep her hair tonight so that she can go to school but be ready to get her braids right after school. So I just washed it. It's kind of already air dried a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Dyson hair dryer just because this is like super powerful and it dries hair really fast. And I'm gonna use this first to mostly dry her hair, which by the way, the last time that I blow dried Zaya's hair, what were we doing last time I blow dried your hair? Getting my hair straightened. Yes, so we did do a video on that. If you haven't seen it, Zaya getting her hair straightened for the first time, go watch that. Another reason why Zaya is getting her hair in this braided protective style tomorrow, or like really the main reason is because what is something that you've been doing on Tuesdays and Thursdays? Some lessons, and when I get in the water, my hair gets all wet, and mommy has to wash it, so if I get the braids, it'll just stay perfect always. Well, it might not stay completely perfect, but I think having the braids will be better than just having your normal ponytails and stuff that I normally do because with swim lessons twice a week and then we also swim on the other days in between that usually too. You end up swimming like every single day. Your hair with the pool water, it just gets hard to manage. So I'm thinking these box braids that you're gonna get tomorrow will just kind of be easier to manage. So now I'm gonna go in with my Revlon round brush blow dryer thing just to kind of actually like smooth her hair out now that it's like 75% dry. This is all of her hair blown out now. I tried to get it somewhat smooth, but without using any product whatsoever because that's how this braider has requested it to be prepped. Just washed and blow dried, but don't put any product on it. This is what I could do without using any products. And I guess for her to go to sleep tonight and go to school tomorrow and be able to somewhat preserve this. Use my bonnet. Use your bonnet, but I think I need to like put it in Maybe just two braids would be good enough. Okay, so these are her little braids. 
just to kind of keep it overnight and for school tomorrow. So just wear it like that at school. Hopefully it'll stay somewhat like smooth and blown out until her appointment after school. For tonight, I'm just gonna tie a scarf over the top to try to keep that kind of smooth. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because I mean, she's getting braids. So I think the main point of blowing your hair out before braids is just to stretch it. Not really so that it has to be like super smooth or anything. I look like a little farmer girl. <laughs> you look like a little, I don't even know, American Girl doll. That's actually a, a cute hairstyle, just the blown out braids because it kind of gives it a different look because it shows your length. Are you excited to get your hair braided tomorrow or are you nervous about it? Excited and nervous. The girl who's braiding your hair is really nice. She did my hair before, and she did Grammy's hair before, and she did Taylor's hair before. She did all our hair before, and we really liked her, and she was really nice. The main thing is you have to try not to get your hair messed up at school. Mainly, I just don't want it to get like so sweaty and dirty. It's fresh and clean now, but sometimes y'all be playing extra hard at school, playing with water and mud and paint. Just remember, you're trying to keep your hair nice. Can you do that? Yes. Sometimes my friends want me to teach you for there, and sometimes they might dare me to step in one of my ponytails in the mud. Well, you tell them, no, I'm not gonna stick my ponytails in the mud because I'm getting my hair done after school, okay? Okay. Okay, so it is Monday morning. This is how Zaya's hair held up overnight. It's a little frizzy on the top, but I'm just gonna like brush that down and put some hair clips on it or something since I can't put any product on it to actually like smooth it for school today. And then like I said, we're just gonna hope that it kind of lasts through school. And then I'm gonna have to pick you up a little bit early from school. Normally I pick you up at like five. I'm probably gonna pick you up at three because your appointment is at four. Okay, so it is about 1 p.m. on Monday. I I had my weekly Monday meetings with the RETV team. That includes me, my mom, my sister, Taylor, and my new assistant, Katarina. We all gathered, as you saw at this table, and did that from about 10 to one. Now, before I have to pick up Zaya to get her hair done, I have to pick her up probably about three. I am tying up some loose ends around the house. You guys know that there's been a lot still going on, especially with my backyard. A few major things that I'm trying to still figure out are this area here, temporarily just have those chairs there, but that's gonna be a wet bar, as well as landscaping throughout the whole perimeter of the backyard. The main thing that we're trying to figure out right now is fencing, privacy wall. Grammy is out here. I'm looking into getting a privacy wall because who is here, but it's just wide open to the neighbors. That's the neighbor's yard right there, and that, their house is right there, and their balcony is right there, and sometimes they be on the balcony and they can just see directly over here. So I wanna have a wall going along this edge to kind of block that. We already talked to a company about doing it, but we're trying to make sure of what they quoted us to even make sure of what I'm trying to do here. I know that if you had a six foot fence, let's just say, this is the top of the fence. He was saying that, you know, first of all, if people are on the balcony, they're gonna be able to see. I don't care if you put a 20 foot fence. Well, maybe not a choice. <laughs> They're still gonna be able to see. I guess what we're talking about is just from the, their path. From the lower level. We can't block the balcony. And There's I nothing we can really do about I that. I feel like that's overkill. And what I was saying is if it just went to here, stopped here, leave a gap opening here so you can step off and access the pool equipment. It doesn't need to be a door or a gate. It just needs to be an opening. So it just stops short. So nothing about this is gonna be symmetrical, but it makes sense to me because of like this walkway. It makes sense to just kind of have this chunk like where this line is just have it stop there and then you have this to walk down and then they need to add a step would be nice to add a step here also just to explain you see that stone wall that goes around the pool equipment that's getting demolished and i'm getting a black metal wall instead that's going to match this privacy wall that we're talking about that is going to have a gate on it it's going to be completely enclosed with a gate right here in the front and then we need to talk to somebody else about adding a step right here and adding something to block this in because i I want to do landscaping and right now it's kind of just like sloped and if I try to put plants or dirt it's just gonna like fall down this hill so I need this to be like properly blocked in so that this whole rectangle can just be like a plant bed okay so it is three o'clock now Zai's appointment is at four I've been here at my desk trying to finish up some content editing recording voiceovers talking to my editors all those things also the sprinkler people there's something wrong with my sprinkler system again they were supposed 
to be coming at some point today, so I'm trying to keep a lookout for them. But I need to go pick up Zaya from school now so we can make it back to the house, get situated, get hyped up <laughs> before 4 p.m. I know Zaya is a little bit nervous because she's never had her hair done by anyone else. She's never had, you know, this whole experience of having somebody come to the house. You know, Zaya can tend to be a little bit shy and a little bit nervous about this type of stuff. So I wanna make sure we're good. So I honestly, I didn't get to finish everything that I really needed to finish here, but we got hair to do, so I'm gonna have to figure it out later. So the funny thing is, like I said, one of the main reasons why I wanna get Zaya's hair braided right now is because she's doing swim lessons. So she's swimming at least twice a week for the swim lessons twice a week, but then she ends up wanting to go swimming every other day besides that anyway. We just really need to do something with her hair. So she does swim lessons twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today is Monday. She is getting her hair freshly done this evening. Tomorrow afternoon, she has swim lessons and she will be fully going underwater. We gonna really have to hope that these braids are durable. Otherwise, that's gonna be really sad <laughs> for her to get her hair done today just for it to potentially get super messed up right away tomorrow. But I think it'll be fine. From my experience that I've had with getting box braids and stuff, it's a pretty good hairstyle for swimming. I'm hoping that they will last. I'm going to tell the braider this information as well. Maybe she will have some recommendations on exactly you know, the braiding pattern or something to help with that. We shall see. So this is how Zaya's hair, just a little bit crazy. I think it should be fine. I'm just gonna take it down. Okay, so these are the inspo pics that I showed Zaya a few days ago. This one, which is just like plain basic chunky box braids with beads at the bottom. And I also showed her some other like actual styles like cornrowed back into a ponytail or cornrowed up into two buns like this. I forget what this style is called, but like cornrowed in the front and then loose braids in the back. Since this is her first time and we want something just kind of like simple and easy to do, we're probably gonna go more for just the standard box braids like this. So we'll see about adding beads and then how long do you want them to be? Your hair when it's braided kind of shrinks up to about right here. Like full length, it's like down to your waist. Probably in braids, it's like naturally to here, but she's gonna add hair to it. So you can make them longer if you want. You can really make them super long if you want, or you can make them just to your normal hair. So how do you want it? To the waist. That's not gonna be too long. It's not gonna bother you. You guess so what? It's not gonna bother you? So you want it down here. Okay, well we'll ask her about it. We wanna make sure that it's not gonna be anything too heavy or hard to like swim with too. I mean, we can like tie it up in a bun in a ponytail when you're swimming. Here's a little girl who has them kinda down to her waist. That's cute with the little curly ends. Oh, you're on your last row. Yeah. You're done with the braids. How do you want it? Do you want clear, black, white, a mix? White. She has it kind of tied up in a little bun. She's gonna take it out. Can you see yourself in this mirror? Or is the lamp in the way? Can you kind of see it? What do you think so far? She's gonna cut the bottoms a little bit and put beads at the bottom of each one. And it didn't she really take that. that long. Okay, let's go let her put the beads on. Can you take a picture maybe of the back right, how it is right now and then I can see it? Yeah, so I will take plenty of pictures, don't worry. But let's go let her put the beads. Stretch your legs before you sit back down. <laughs> First, you still look normal. How are you expecting to look? Like a whole different person? Yeah. You've had a hairstyle kind of like this before. Remember when I did it myself? But it wasn't as good as that. You did normal size braids. These braids are tiny. 
yeah i couldn't really do it that tiny and i definitely couldn't do the parts that neat or the braiding this neat or even the beads so she did a much better job than i could do you like it are you excited to show your friends at school and you can wear it in different hairstyles too. We can leave it down for now, but you can also do like pigtails with it, Bunnies. ponytails, half up, Bunnies. half down. Bunnies. How does it feel on your head? Does it feel heavier than your normal hair or the same? The same, but when you put it in the front, it kind of itches me. Yeah, you just have to get used to it. You'll get used to it over the next couple days. Okay, so it's the next morning. We're getting ready to go off to school. I just tied Zaya's hair back with a little scrunchie to kind of keep it out of her face. Hopefully try to just, you know, keep it a little neater for school today. Nothing crazy. I actually totally forgot to tie her hair up last night, so she just slept with it loose, but it held up really well. It really didn't even get frizzy at all. Baby hairs are still intact. So yeah, she's gonna go to school today, and then we have swim lessons right after school. How was it sleeping with the braids? Did it bother you at all? Did the beads bother you or anything? Yeah. I mean, yeah, like I said, you've kind of basically had this style before and I've put beads in your hair before, so this isn't really that new. You're used to sleeping with certain hairstyles and extra stuff. These are a little longer and a little heavier, but not too bad. So I just left the plant nursery place. I got a couple of plants that I'm planning on. It's either gonna go in the front yard or the backyard. I haven't decided yet. I wanted to just grab these real quick while I was thinking about it. I'm about to go pick up Zaya from school and get ready for swim lessons. She was supposed to have her group lesson with Levi, Malachi, and Alea today. In a strange, unfortunate turn of events, Alea got sick at school today. Sadie had to go pick up early. And then right after that, Levi got sick at his school and Taylor had to go pick him up early. So both kids got sick at school today so none of our friends can come to swim lessons today which is a little bit of a bummer but Zaya is still gonna go ahead and just do a solo lesson by herself today we normally do group lessons on Tuesdays and Zaya does a solo lesson on Thursdays but she'll just be doing solo lessons on Tuesday and Thursday this week I hope Alea and Levi feel better soon but yeah I'm about to pick her up and then we are rushing home to make it in time for swim lessons What did you just finish doing? I just finished swim lessons. And how was it to swim with your hair like that? Good. It was good? It didn't bother you or anything? Yeah, it stayed good, but it got wet. Yeah, it's just wet, but it still looks good. It's not like messed up or anything. But it wasn't like too heavy or anything? No. And it wasn't like in your way? It wasn't. It wasn't in your way? So now we know that's a good hairstyle for swimming. And it looks like it's gonna hold up pretty nice too, cause you were fully under the water and it didn't even move or budge at all. Do you want some of this sweet fruit punch? Fruit punch? That looked like dirty pool water to me. Sure, my I'll birthday. taste some. Can I just have a small tasting sample? Yeah, gummy fishes from my birthday party. Mmm, yummy, thank you. 